Hey everybody, Jesse from G28 CNC, and in this video I'll be giving all of the dimensions of the Ultimate B1515 from Bulkman 3D. Alright, so one of the most common things that's been popping up on my channel for questions is what are the dimensions of whatever it is so the total uh, contact area on the table the uh, rail to rail the full machine so motor which is the out outermost part of the machine to the gantry plate on the right uh, what's the travel distance of z what's the working area what size table etc so i figured it was worth it to just do a video covering all of those things we're going to start with what is the maximum area that the machine takes up which is going to be the uh, motor on the x all the way to the gantry plate on the right the motors in the back um, up to this um, bearing block that's on the front and then the Z motor down to the table uh, so that would be like this is the maximum space that your machine's gonna take up the overall length here X Y and Z maximum dimensions here. For X, we are at 169 centimeters. So 1690 millimeters. For Y, that is going to be the back of the motor up to the front of the machine and that is 168 centimeters so 1680 millimeters and for Z I've already homed this so this is the highest that this is going to go and I'm going to touch the end of this to the table because that's going to give you how far off the table this is going to stand. So I'm going to give you an exact number. Just keep in mind that if you're building the full enclosure, you're going to want some clearance up here because you're probably going to have um, a dust boot with a vacuum and you're going to want to have some, some room up here for that vacuum hose or uh, you know dust collector hose to be able to move around. So from table, to the top of the Z motor is 70 centimeters, 700 millimeters. So that's your overall <clears throat> dimensions of the machine. The next question I had was, what are the dimensions of what's touching the table? So uh, touching the table is gonna be kind of right where this drag chain uh, tray ends right here so this is touching the table all the way over to the other side of this plate that holds uh, the block for the ball screw and actually attaches everything to the front extrusion and the C extrusion um, and then kind of the same thing the back the motors not touching the table so this is this is just the area that touches the table. So for X, we've got 150 centimeters, 1500 millimeters. For Y, 152 centimeters. 
All right, so that's your area touching the table, physically touching the table. Um, then the last dimension that's been frequently inquired about are the working dimensions of the machine. And that's, uh, that's a, you know, could vary a little bit based on some things that you set up. So if you have a big dust boot on here, you're gonna have to move this over so that it homes a little bit earlier so it doesn't collide with the C-beam when that comes down. I'm gonna home it and then we'll see how much I can move this around. <laughs> I am at 160 millimeters. X over. Pretty close. A little bit more. comfortably say we've got uh, for X 1240 millimeters of travel we've got 1250 millimeters of travel all right and lastly the dimensions of my table we've got 173 centimeters by 173. And I made this have room all the way around so that I could potentially build a 2020 enclosure around the whole thing and put panels and some sliding access on the sides to load large material doors on the front um, just keep in mind if you're making your spoil board that you don't want to you don't want to max out this inside here because when you go to surface your board you're not going to be able to reach the outside so you want to keep it within that um, working area go a little bit larger depending on what size surfacing bit you're going to be using something like like the Amana or the one that you know I, there's like a million different versions of this but something like that you can go a little bit beyond that maybe like a centimeter or so in each direction uh yeah so that's it Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully this was a helpful video for you. 